Hey everyone, Brent Barnett with Gibraltar Hardware. Today we're going to talk about customizing docking station. Docking station comes with three clamps. One to mount a rack tom, crash, and a ride. Here we have it set up with two crashes, a rack tom, and a ride symbol. We're going to show you how you can add a legless snare stand, a legless hi-hat stand, a second rack tom, so if you have a five-piece kit, you can adapt it to, its, to your setup, and also a third crash. So let's get into it. Legless snare stands are great for players who are looking for two really main features. They want to lock their snare drum in place so it doesn't move around on them. Sometimes when you have a really hard left hand, the snare stand will bounce around. This completely locks the snare right in place and it won't move. And also for players that want to be positioned the same way every single time, so that when you connect it to the rack, you don't have to worry about repositioning it around you. It's in the same place every time. So let's have a look at the parts that we used to get it attached to the docking station. These four pieces go together very simply. All you have to do is connect the stealth bent bar to the docking station with the right angle clamp. Then you connect the player side end of the bent bar to the mini T-leg. Now you have your base. Then you just put the snare basket in and you're ready to go. In this scenario, we have the legless hi-hat stand connected to the legless snare stand. And this is for those players that want everything completely legless. We use the double extension arm to connect it to uh, the bend right here in the rack and then directly to the, the, the base of the hi-hat stand. Now what's great about this double extension arm is it has two grabber clamps, super grabber clamps, that have a lot of space to grab on and, and offer a lot of stability. Now both of these grabber clamps rotate 360 degrees so that you can position this arm at any angle that you need. Another really cool benefit that this, this, arm, this uh, double extension arm has is that it telescopes so that you can actually um, pull it closer or push or pull it further away if you need. two parts to add a legless hi-hat stand to the docking station. Here we used the adjustable extension arm and a multi-angle multi-clamp. So the adjustable extension arm has three really cool features. It has a super grabber clamp that offers extra stability when you grab onto the base of a no-leg hi-hat stand. The grabber clamp is attached to the arm with a 360 degree rotating tilter so that you can position the, the, the grabber clamp at any angle that you need. And lastly, the arm is telescoping so that you can position it as close to the docking station or far away as you need. Now we attach the extension arm to the docking station using the multi-angle multi-clamp. Now what's also great about this clamp is that this too has a rotating tilter. So you can rotate the accessory side of the clamp 360 degrees to come off of the docking station at whatever angle you need to attach the extension arm, then to attach the hi-hat stand. So maybe you have a five-piece kit that you want to mount to the docking station. There are four pieces that you need to do this, assuming that you have two crashes and a ride symbol. Let's get into it. So here we have the two rack toms and two crash symbols mounted to the U-shaped bar right over the bass drum. Now since the 12-inch tom is where the ride symbol would normally be with a four-piece kit, we cannot connect the ride symbol symbol arm directly to the side of the U-shaped bar because there's not enough distance. So we have to create that distance. And we used the bottom T-leg to get the, the ride symbol further away from the U-shaped bar you have to pivot the bottom T-leg away from the bass drum. You need a T-clamp, a chrome T-clamp, then you also need a short mounting post. It's a 14-inch mounting post that you can mount your cymbal out of. Now you have two posts pretty much coming out of this T-leg assembly. One is the U-bar, and the other is the mounting post that you just added for the ride cymbal. Let's 
say you want to take two rat toms and mount them offset on the docking station over the bass drum. You just need two parts to do this. This is a double tom holder and mount it to the side of the docking station with the multi-angle multi-clamp. Now since the double tom holder is in the spot where a crash cymbal would normally go, you can use the back clamp of the double tom holder to hold up the smaller version of a crash cymbal. You can use a longer version, but we're using a smaller version so that we don't have any extra boom sticking out. So you have a four piece kit with two crashes and a ride all mounted to the docking station. But you want to add one more symbol. You want to add a third symbol. One to your floor tom side. Maybe it's a crash. Maybe it's a china. You really only need two parts to do this. And I'm going to show you how really quick. Let's take a look. So we have our two crashes and ride symbol mounted to the docking station. The ride symbol is positioned right over the bass drum so it's a comfortable right in front of us. Now we need a third symbol placed right over here whether it's a crash or a china. But because there is so much on this side right over here, we don't have enough space to, off, to, to, to place the crash symbol. We need some distance away from these two symbols to place the boom arm. This is where the lower, the bottom T-leg assembly comes, in, comes into play. Slide this entire clamp all the way to the front of the T-leg assembly. Then pivot the T-leg assembly out away from the bass drum. That's pointing to about four o'clock, drummer's four o'clock. Then we just use another T-clamp, mount it to the, to the back of the T-leg assembly, and a short mounting post. This is 14 inches tall. Now you've got a place that's far enough away from the actual U-bar where your right main crash and ride symbol are mounted to that you can mount a secondary crash symbol or a china. So for symbol mounting with the docking station, we have a couple options that work great for this setup. One option is the standard symbol boom arm. It has a geared tilter, like a little ratchet on the inside that allows you to lock into place. 18 inch boom arm with a single boom tilter, point, single point boom tilter. This means the boom arm extension and the, and the angle adjustment is all controlled by one point. It also has a 16 inch down stem. There's also a smaller version of this with a 10 inch down stem and a 12 inch boom arm. But depending upon how you set up on the docking station, the longer version will probably work a little bit better. So another option is the long symbol boom arm with a brake tilter. Now this is an upgraded version from the, the standard symbol boom. This is more of a professional series. The tilter, the symbol tilter is gearless. So it allows you to position the symbol at any angle you need. We have an 18 inch boom arm with a two point boom adjustment uh, mechanism. So instead of one point adjusting the length and the angle of the boom, you have two that work independently from each other. So this one adjusts the length. And then this one adjusts the angle. So this concludes our short tour on customizing the docking station. There are plenty of ways to customize and we would love to see how you guys are doing it. Make sure you follow us on Instagram and Facebook, tag us so we can see what you guys are doing. Also uh, make sure you subscribe because uh, we got a lot of really cool videos coming out and we don't want you to miss anything else. So lastly, let us know what you want to see. We'll see you next time.